Well, let's beat it. All right, gentlemen. It's all over. You two men are under arrest. Hand over those jewels. Hand them over. <laughs> That's enough. Come on, get up there. Come on, stand up there. That's enough, boys. Here you are, Craig. You hurt? No, I'm all right. Sullivan and I will take care of these fellas. Get out there and bring in O'Hara. All right. Watch them. Well, Humphreys, what have you got to say for yourself? I knew the game was up the moment you sprung that Dr. Neblet on us. Who's in this racket with you? Well, at first, Gallagher and I were going to pull this thing alone. Then we cut in Spike Harvey to impersonate your Dr. Neblet. And the dirty rat double-crossed us. Question us all you want, Kennedy. I don't know a thing about the gold formula. Our racket was the jewels. Well, Craig, where's O'Hara? You know what that means. We're getting close. How's that? When a criminal begins to boast, it's a sign of weakness. Hammock! Hammock! Why, what's the trouble? He Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Geronda. We just put a stop to a couple of imposters who were attempting to steal your mother's jewels. Hammock? An imposter? Yes. None other than notorious Blackie Humphreys, a crook. But my mother, Mr. Kennedy, she's very ill. She seems to be in a sort of daze. What about this, Blackie? She'll be all right. She probably inhaled some of that incense. She'll come out of it in a little while. Hand me that jewel case. I want to return these jewels and ask your mother a few questions. Sullivan, take these boys down to headquarters. Right. Your bungling of the Geronda colonnade job has caused Kennedy to lay plans to raid this place. My efforts to secure the missing portion of the Geronda Gold formula have been jeopardized. Number eight, I want you to see that all evidence concerning the Geronda Gold formula is removed from here and placed aboard the Nellie D at once. Number four and number two cooperate with number eight. You know what happened to number six. Answer me. Yes, yes sir. sir. If you don't want to meet the same fate, you'd better not bungle this job. Now go. When I see that gal, when I get ashore tonight, oh no, I'm going to go tonight. And when I meet that gal, he do the best. I'm the deep dog, though I'm going. Say me some of that hair tonic, slug. Do good. Ba, 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 bitty, choo, hey, get down your coat. I'm an over slug. Hot dog. Look at him. I'm going to town now. Who's got a towel? It hey, was my towel. You, you never, never had a towel. towel. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> hey, you <laughs> mug. Captain's orders, no shore leave. What do you mean, no oh, shore leave? Where does he get that stuff? I got a date. What do you mean we can't go ashore? You heard me. Who's gonna stop me? I'll stop all of you.
your idea, Olaf. Uh, you said no shore leave. Uh, there they are. Yeah, but I didn't say put them in the hospital. I'll go out and get some extra men. And see that they don't get away. They won't get away, Captain. It can't be done, Hobart. You're the head of the corporation. You control the ships. I got the cargo. But you don't understand. You easing up because you expect to get rich from the Gironda gold formula? I'm interested in finding the gold formula purely from the company's angle. <laughs> don't make me laugh. I'd like to get my hands on it, and so would you and everyone else connected with it. You're covering a lot of territory, Hobart. I cover enough to include the meetings you've been having with Mrs. Gironda. Mrs. Gironda happens to be a stockholder in the corporation. You just tell Captain Hanson to carry out my instructions. We'll forget the other stuff. Oh, hello, Joe. Hello. See you later. What's new? I just heard that little talk you had with a party who just left. So what? You lay off the Gironda family, or your friend will be missing you the next time he calls. That's possible. People disappear very suddenly around here. Oh, it's you. No, I can't talk to you. Not now. Call me tomorrow. That Mitchell threatening you again? Yes, Nicky. Oh, what am I going to do? Don't worry about it anymore. Just leave him to me. Oh, but Mickey, you don't mean... No, nothing like that. Uh, like a second-hand shop. What's the big idea? Sullivan just phoned that the Nellie D is sailing with a strange cargo. An invalid old man. Dr. Gironda, huh? Where's Sullivan now? I've got to meet him near the Harbor Hotel. Here, get into this. I may need you. All right. Got a birth mate? No. Want one? Sure. Well, the Nellie D needs a few men. Report to Olaf, first mate. All right. Howdy, Cap. Howdy. Shot him in? Yes, and I don't care how I get him. Hmm. I've been an able-bodied man. A real seaman. I might even pay his wages while he's away. What's your deal, mister? Never mind the name. Let's have a drink. I'll point out your man. Okay. Give me a deck of cards, Steve. What'll it be? Straight. Right. What do you have, Captain? The you, you. You? A little straight, please. It's up to you. You 
seafaring man? No. But I'll take that drink. I'm not feeling so well. Chloe. None of your business. Later. Get the drink. What do you have? You know what I want. Okay. Where's the captain? Is everything ready? I've got to leave. He'll play your game. Okay with me. I'll deal. That one? Sure. Any of you fellas want to go ashore? Come on. I'll go. He's had too much. I see you brought my cargo. Yeah. Well, that's that. Well, take good care of him, Cap. What's the big idea? You're going for a little trip. A little trip? Nothing. Look out for that guy. He's dynamite. I'm not afraid of that big gorilla.
Get forward where you belong. Yes. Where's that other new man? I don't know. I thought I told you to go forward. Get him, Olaf. Break every bone in his body. <laughs> 